I guess if I have advice for a young writer, it's advice about reading, which is that one thing that I think was very useful for me, but took me a while to kind of develop as a reader, was this idea that you should always read your hero's heroes. The reason why that can be so useful is that if you, if you admire a writer and you know that writer is passionate about some other writer, it doesn't mean that you're going to love that other writer, but it means you can read it knowing in advance um, that there's a kind of value there for you. Right. Like so C.D. Wright, who was a poet who I loved very much as a as a person, as a teacher, as a poet, very hands off teacher. Right. All she kind of did was expose you to some interesting books and then act wounded when the students turned on them, you know, or whatever. I mean, she, she was an immensely useful teacher for me, but in a very hands off way. But because I admired C.D. so much, I always I, I always got something out of reading a poet she cared about even if it wasn't a poet for me. I could learn, I could learn, it was almost like, like my admiration for CD or whomever sponsored a kind of intensity of attention for reading this other writer. So I, I think that like, you know, every, I mean, this, I mean, I know that this, I'm saying like kind of the most obvious thing in the world, right? But like figuring out who the writers you love, love, gives you a map. Like it, it can, you can have a whole education that way because you'll always know if you, if you value Robert Creeley, you know, you'll get something out of reading the people that taught Creeley something, even if, even if it's secondhand, that idea that your passionate commitment to one writer can like sponsor interest and attention for another writer. And that you can, that you don't have to think about your reading just in terms of canons and traditions, but in terms of these idiosyncratic constellations of the poets that the poets you love loved, that to me seems to be like a rich way to read and you're kind of never wasting your time. So I don't know if that's, I don't know how useful that is as advice for a young writer, but I think, um, I think it's a way to read. And I like that Wallace Stevens quote, you know, that, that writing is just a very intense form of reading. So I think if you can read that way, it does feed back into your writing.